With no one to stop me, revenge is mine! as another bleak day in Hooverville. The kind of day that, oh no, the detective movie marathon. Huh? Miraculously, no one was injured in the blast that destroyed the Hooverville television relay station earlier this morning. Taking responsibility is one Dr. X, as he's calling himself, who has vowed to destroy the city one building at a time. as another bleak day in Hooverville. The kind of day that makes you talk to yourself while riding a bus. If it wasn't for this field trip to the museum, I'd have never have gotten involved in the biggest case of my life and the city's history. What's going on here? That was my nephew, Martin. Those bullies were carrying him away. Are you sure this wasn't some nouveau art performance? There's no room for performance in art. At least that's what my father used to say. He sounds like an open-minded guy. Can you think of any reason why your nephew might need to be carried off from a public place? Rattling rutabagas, this is my nephew we're talking about. He's a good, honest boy. A bit on the nerd side, but good. Hey, 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 without nerds, we'd have no computers. No computers means no computer games. Without computer games, where would we be? Probably the funny papers. Does this kind of thing happen often at the museum? In my day, this kind of thing never happened. Sure, you'd get the occasional tomato fight, but the perpetrators would always be forced into exile on a garbage scow. Ah, yes, the swift hand of justice being wielded by mob mentality. The good old days. You said it. What was your nephew doing with thugs like those? I don't know. He used to work non-stop with some doctor researching animal communications in his spare time while finishing his graduate studies. The next thing I know, he's got these low lives around him, pushing him this way and that. What kind of animal communication? 
This doctor he worked for used to have some kind of crazy notion that he could talk with the animals. Used to wear sea life on his head and claim that he could communicate with them. <gasps> it's weird. guy with broom. I am B.F. Skinny. <laughs> Here, I got this note for you. Is that bow tie some kind of fashion statement? Yeah, I'm saying, hey, I'm a rat. I'm ready for anything. You've got a point. How do we find Martin? Oh, Martin. They got Martin! Can't remember who... Oh. You have no memory whatsoever? None that I recall. Where did you come from? Where did I come from? I'm a lab rat! <laughs> you figure it out! That's it. I'm calling the exterminator. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. All I can remember is Martin telling me to take this note to the museum and give it to somebody. But I don't remember. He'll call me whenever he needs help and, and I'll deliver notes here. Hmm. Huh? I need to figure out this crossword to get the coded message. Luckily, I'm already at the museum and can look for the answers in the exhibits. See here. If I take the letters that the arrows are pointing at, then rearrange them, it's got to be some sort of address. Mogul and Anna. Huh? That doesn't sound right. What else could it be? Oak and Maine.
Do you know where Oak and Maine are? Yeah, I've got a map you can take. Hooverville's pretty big, so this map's a big help. Move your mouse around to see what's what. Just click on a place to start a trip. I am unable to report anything out of the ordinary tonight. Find a place and click on it to go there. Skating's easy, just don't fall. Use the arrow keys to move around the screen and the space bar to jump. Watch out for anything that might trip you up. The electroplating plant. Well, this is where the note said to come. Since no one's here to greet me, I guess I'll just have to pick that lock to get inside. This lock's tricky. I can pick it to get inside, but first I'll need to match all the numbers on the sides of these triangles. I can move them and spin them, but I have to solve the math problems first.
Oh, thank goodness you're here. We've got to hurry. Dr. X's men, they'll be back any minute. So now that you're mixed up in the life of Kron, I gotta ask, does it pay? Only if you consider sleepless nights and stress-induced hair loss as payment. I'd say no. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd say no too. What's with the rat? Oh, BF? Oh, he was my favorite lab rat from my early days working for Dr. X. He, he can speak English, but, but latched on to old comedy routines from the movies we used to watch in the lab. Now he only speaks in bad jokes and tired cliches, but you gotta love the little guy. Why can't he just talk normal? Well, something went wrong with the experiments. Although he sounds and acts like a vaudeville entertainer, he has no short-term memory to convey simple thoughts. It's a good thing we weren't watching a lot of Star Trek. Who is this X you're talking about? Dr. X was a brilliant scientist in the field of animal behavior who actually found a link between certain types of creatures and a neurotransmitter in the human brain that, that allows limited but effective cross-species communication. Uh, during the course of one of his ex experiments, though, he, he received a heavy dose of radioactive toast, and now he's a little bit crazy. How crazy? Crazy enough to force me to sabotage this electroplating factory. He has some mad idea about getting revenge on the companies that used to support his research. But, according to him, they cut his funding unfairly. So now he plans to blow them all up. Quick, hide. They're coming back. Now's a good time to try out the glasses. The lab assistant said I could read thoughts with these glasses, but the message is scrambled because I'm not wearing an octopus on my head. Thank goodness. I just need to put the right words into their proper places. And when you figured out where all the words fit, be sure to read what they've said. It could be valuable information. Oh, and if you start picking wrong words, your correct choices will disappear. Quiet down and concentrate, you knuckleheads.
I'll need to get a few things in the city to try and get to that bomb. I bet I can go to places like the mine shaft, the juice bar, and the junkyard to get the items. But what would be insulation from electricity? What would lock down the control arm? And just what could I use as a conductive item to short out the terminals? I need to look for that stuff somewhere in town. Cover getting a story. A reporter's work is never done. So, what's up with you, huh? What can I do for you? Just pretend you don't know me. This place is seedier than a cornfield. Yeah, but it's got atmosphere. So much I can hardly breathe. I need to get my hands on some sort of lock. Oh, that's funny. Most people who come in here want to get their hands out of some sort of lock. How about it? Do you have a lock for me? Ah, sorry, no lock. Get it? No lock. <laughs> no luck, no lock. <laughs> it's like a joke. It's... Okay, forget it. I'm looking for some kind of insulation from shock. Life can be pretty shocking. I mean, I'm looking for something to prevent electric shock. Oh, that kind of insulator. Well, I got some rubber boots in the lost and found, but uh, you'll need to help me out first. Hey, mixing milkshakes is a snap. You just need to follow instructions. Take the measuring cups and fill them with the right liquid. Then dump it into one of your glasses. You'll need to get the right mixture or it'll taste awful. When you have the right amount, dump the glasses into the blender. It's easy.
done good, Joe. Thanks. He's what you need. Oh, gee, Joe, I'm sorry. I'm just too busy to talk right now. Oh, gee, Joe. The trick to skating is not to hit anything. Hey there, kid. I'm Jimmy the Shadow. Welcome to my humble establishment. What can I do for you, huh? I'm looking for an object that will bridge circuits. Could you be a little more cryptic? I really need something that I could use to connect two electrical circuits to break them. I might have some scrap metal in back I can get for you, but uh, I need you to help me out with something first. In order to uh, conserve space on my lot, I need you to rearrange this junk. Up there in the corner is a diagram that'll show you how the junk would best fit. The black shapes represent the pieces of junk that you'll need to try and copy the diagram. Do you follow me? Stop following me or I'll have you arrested. <laughs> it's a little joke. Okay, here's what I promised you. Thanks for the help.
Oh, my. Well, I haven't had a visitor since the Park Service closed the mine due to falling rocks. My name is Maggie, Maggie Mead. What can I do for you? Do you have a lock I can borrow? Do you work for the Park Service? Why, yes. Actually, I'm the Park Service Ambassador from Yosemite. How did you know? Lying gets you nowhere. Do you have a lock I can borrow? Do you work for the Park Service? Mm, no, I don't think so. Okay, then. I've got an old lock that used to keep kids from playing in the mine shaft, but we don't need it anymore. I'll give it to you, but you need to help me a bit first. I'm sort of, well, afraid of the dark, but I need to get some objects out of the mine for my studies. I know they're down there, but I can't remember exactly where. There's three mine levels down there, getting older the further you go down. You can take the elevator to get to them. Oh, and uh, watch out for rocks. I need a musket ball. I need a moss-covered rock. I need the wing of a totem pole. Walk over an object. Hit the space bar to examine it. Push A to jump. Push Z to duck. If your health meter gets too low, you'll have to start again. Use the up and down arrow keys to climb up and down ladders. <laughs> I need the wing of a totem pole. I need a musket ball. I need a moss-covered rock. Look at the object and read the description. If it matches one of the objects that Maggie's asking for, click the green Accept button. If it doesn't, click the red Reject button. If you want to replace an object you found with a new one, click on the green button and it will replace the old object. There will only be one object per layer. If you want to hear what you're looking for again, click the question mark. Click on a layer to go there. Older artifacts are further down. Uh, that's not what I asked for. Please go back and get what I need. I need a moss-covered rock. I need a musket ball. I need the wing of a totem pole.
Thanks for the help. Here's what you wanted. Okay, I've got all the goods. Now I need to get back to the electroplating factory. The trick to skating is not to hit anything. What are you still doing here? Union Rule 6875A says the technician must go down with his factory. A captain in his ship, eh? Well, more like an electrical engineer in his electroplating factory. <laughs> but that's the gist of it. I need to use those items to get to the bomb. They're in my inventory. Okay, steady now. Disarming this bomb doesn't look too difficult. I hope. Okay, there's a series of batteries with different voltages. Now, in order to shut this thing down, I need to get the right combination of batteries turned on. I need to get the voltage meter, the number in the red box, equal to the target number in the dark blue box. To do this, turn the batteries on or off with the circuit android. Use the arrow keys to move the android and the space bar to flick the batteries on and off at the square junction boxes. That's simple enough, except there's also a couple of defense androids who'll try and stop me.
what could have happened with such sloppy detective work. Some cases are fought for, and some drop in your lap. This one started with a trip to the museum and bumping into an old stranger. It's only gotten stranger from there. All I know for sure is I need some sleep. How could you fail me? I will pound you into pulp. But later... So this little brat thinks she's won, eh? No matter. The game's far from over. They'll all learn to fear Dr. X. Hey there, hi there, ho there! Boy, it's good to be out of the lab! I felt like I was just spinning my wheels! Ha <laughs> ha! Get it? Lab rat, exercise wheel, go! Boy, this is a tough crowd. Okay, all right, here's the note. <laughs>